Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel once wrote, faith is a blush in the presence of God. If I understand Heschel correctly, he's signaling that the purpose of any house of worship is to alert us to the gap between who we are and who we know we can be, an awareness that induces us to blush. Like the Mishkan, the desert tabernacle of this week's Torah reading, the goals of a house of God is both to draw you in and welcome you home and paradoxically, to remind you of the work that still needs to be done in this world and in ourselves. Lest we forget the Hebrew word meaning to pray is a reflexive verb, lehit palel, literally to judge oneself, not to affirm who we are, but to remind ourselves of the gap between who we are and who it is we seek to be. Reminding you of this gap, mind you, is only the first goal. The second and far more important role of this institution is to provide the path and the motivation by which that chasm can be bridged so that we can mend ourselves and in doing so, let the radiance of this place mend the world in which we live. It is not in the heavens, neither is it beyond the sea. No, it's very close to you in your mouth and in your heart to observe it, teaches our Torah reading. Our faith, our tradition, our Torah, and our tomorrows are not meant to mirror our todays. We do not live in the world as it ought to be, and as a synagogue, we are meant to remind you of that fact. But this place also inspires us towards leading that life, and it reminds us that it's not as distant as we think, and the door is open if we are willing to enter it. It's altogether doable. In this sacred space, we know that we're all engaged in this struggle together, every one of us reaching out, all of us humbly seeking to make real God's will here on earth. See you in shul.